You know, Salty, a little rubber cement might help fix that shedding problem. What do you think about this for our wedding, China? Huh? I told you which one I like. You laughed at me. Dal, when I finish my meal, I want to see a simple rose in the center of my plate, not Elvis. <laughs> She says potato, he says potato. Hey, uh, turn on channel 71 and please tell me what the hell is going on. Annie, that's a Korean soap opera. Okay, this is what I know so far. This one here with the hair, she works in a restaurant, but this is her house, right? This one with the nose, he's in the restaurant, out of the restaurant, but now he acts like he doesn't even know her. <laughs> what, what, who, who's that? The daughter, she just keeps yelling. I don't know why. This is bizarre. Yeah, isn't it? I'm addicted. <laughs> oh, look, now she's mad. Well, of course she's mad. Look what they're doing to her dog. Uh, that's all right. Oh, I'll get it. I'd hate to tear you all away from Poo Young and the rest of us. <laughs> Duffy residence. What? what uh, ho hold on for a second. Is someone asking for legs? Oh, my God, it's Marco. It's Marco. Oh, great. Hey, you. Oh, you're in town? Hey, Del, Marco's in town. Oh, tell him it's not too late to get out. <laughs> All right, because we know this is going to leak out in agonizingly slow dribs and drabs, just tell me, who is Marco? 190 pounds of prime beef. I'm sorry, was that out loud? Okay, look, the third time Caroline and I broke up, she took off to Venice to clear her head. Sorry to interrupt, but that was breakup number two. Breakup number three was that weaving class at the Y. I only know this because that's how I got that gorgeous bathroom rug that says Dell sucks. <laughs> Ooh, Annie, look. The one with the hair has a gun. Oh, my God. Okay, you were saying? <laughs> anyway, she met this Marco guy there. He shows her around Venice. He nicknames her Legs. I mean, he was supposed to be her transition guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Apparently, Marco has a little trouble letting go. I mean, he calls her constantly. He calls her once every six months. Yeah, well, when he calls her legs, it seems a lot more often. No, no, nothing much new with me. Uh, hello? Hey, uh, we just got engaged. That's new. Oh, yeah, that's right. Del proposed to me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Del proposed to me. Yeah, I know. What? What? What did you say? God, I hate this guy. Del, don't you owe him the courtesy of meeting him before you hate him? Nah. Never met Yanni. Hate him. <laughs> I have to work tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm painting this mural for this charity auction, but I should be through by then. Del, Marco really wants to meet you. He wants to take us out to lunch tomorrow. How about two? Two? Uh, you know, two's not good. I was planning on having steel needles driven into my skull. <laughs> Del says he can't wait. <laughs> Lepner residence. We're here to paint the Caroline in the City mural. KK? A charity auction. He donated big money for mural. Mural. Uh, let me handle this. I took six years of Spanish. Mural? Si, claro, fácil. I'm Rosa. Buenos dias, Rosa. Is uh, Senor Lepner in? No, uh, Senor Lepner, no. He to be at the working today. Ah. <laughs> Senora Lepner. Oh, la Senora Lepner, no. Uh, she's having a uh, waxing uh, of the bikini. Well, um, did they tell you we were coming? I'm the cartoonist Caroline Duffy. Ah, sí, claro. Desde luego, pásele. Me dijeron que usted iba a venir sí. y le tenía yo que limpiar sí. la casa. Y entonces dijeron... I have no idea what she's saying. Se fueron muy temprano y no me avisaron que ustedes iban a venir, pero aquí de todos modos está el cuarto del chiquillo. ¿Qué le parece? Right back at ya. <laughs> Rosa, this is a child's room. I, I, I thought the mural was for Senor Martin Lepner. Sí, el mural is for Senor Martin Lepner Jr. El diablo. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, no, nada. <laughs> if you need something, just scream, eh? I'll be in the living room pushing la Hoover. <laughs> Gracias. Wow, look at this room. 
Who says money can't buy happiness? I'm happy and this stuff isn't even mine. <laughs> Will you look at this entertainment center? I mean, this probably cost as much as the house I grew up in. Don't kid yourself. You couldn't afford to live in a house that nice. <laughs> You must be Martin. I'm Caroline Duffy, and this is my assistant, Richard Karinsky. You work for a chick? Hope you didn't waste your time going to college. Hope you don't plan on getting any taller. Richard, he's a little kid. Cut him some slack. Mm. Now, Martin, Richard and I are here to paint your Caroline in the City mural. Is there any place special you'd like us to put it? How about under the rug? <laughs> Aren't you an amusing young lad? You wish. My dad screwed up. I didn't want Caroline in the city. I wanted a mural of Xena, queen of the lost city. At least she's got big pointy boobs. <laughs> Finally! My homework. You get your homework assignment faxed to you? No, I get the answers faxed to me. Duh. So, uh, tell me, Meatloaf. Uh, Martin. <laughs> exactly do you beat up every week to get those answers? I don't have to beat them up every week. Just takes once, if you do it right. <laughs> what a loser. This first page didn't come through. I believe that's going to cost Mr. Adam Shankman his lunch money. <laughs> Richard, how did you know that he had to beat up someone to get the answers? I was Adam Shankman. <laughs> and uh, little Martin there was Kurt Gustinger. Big kid, classroom bully. Went to junior high on the GI Bill. Okay. I think the one eating the cabbage is saying the baby isn't his. No, I'm not. I think Bad Suit Man wants her to change the baby. Oh, look, here comes the one with the hair again. Hey, what's she doing with the evil chain smoking oh, yeah. guy? <laughs> They're a couple now. Oh, you missed one episode. <laughs> oh, great. Marco's early and Caroline's not here yet. Annie, <clears throat> does this look sincere? No, it looks like that fiber just kicked in. <laughs> uh, Del, you can stop grinning. It's only Charlie. Hey, Caroline. Observant little elf, isn't he? <laughs> okay, listen, I gotta get to Kat. It's matinee day. Gotta love those old ladies in the audience, you know. Ethel! Oh, they really are cats. I thought it was just a metaphor. <laughs> They're really cats? I thought they were actors playing cats. <laughs> so, are you ready to play a little racquetball? Oh, Charlie, I'm sorry. I forgot. I can't play. I know. That's why I like playing with you. <laughs> just kidding, boss. It's a little jock humor. Look, uh, Caroline's got this old boyfriend coming over later. We're all going out for lunch. Oh, should I change? <laughs> Charlie, you're not invited. Oh, okay. So you misspoke when you said, oh, all right. It's <laughs> okay. I'll just go play racquetball by myself. But racquetball is no fun by myself. As a matter of fact, hardly any games are fun by yourself. Like, okay, pick a number between one and ten. Three. Right. See what I mean? What fun was that? <laughs> okay, round two. Uh, eight. Well, that was kind of cool, because I was thinking, too. Hey there, you must be Marco. You must be there. <laughs> and I'm Charlie, and I'll be dining alone. Charlie, don't be a stranger. Don't forget to floss. It's so good to finally meet you there. Carolina's told me so much about you. Yeah, she's told me a lot about you, too. You're a cobbler, right? Uh, actually, I'm a ski instructor. Yeah, in America, that's what we call a cobbler. Uh. Have a seat. Uh, Caroline's running a little late. Oh, is that not just like legs, huh? Legs. Oh, oh. You mean... Blinky. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. A lot of things have changed around here since I came into the picture. Her nickname is... Blinky. No. <laughs> Poster boy for vasectomies. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Vaseline. Oh, I hate this kid. Come on, doesn't he get to you? No, not really. I'm sure inside he's not so bad. Give me a scalpel. I'll go look. 
What? It's always not so easy to take. I happen to like a challenge. You think you're so easy to like? Yes, I am. <laughs> you know, Richard, you're one of the most difficult people I've ever met. But you're also one of the best. Really? Look, um, Caroline, uh, the mural looks really great. Oh, well, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> looks like zero gravity has had a bit of a cosmetic effect on Caroline's bust line. <laughs> well, I always get to spend his adolescence in this room. Maybe he'll grow to appreciate me. <laughs> Martin, your mural's done! Are you crazy? Are you crazy calling him to us? Come on, this is like one of those horror movies where instead of, like, running from the house, they actually go looking for the beast. Demonio de muchacho, basta! I quit! Wait a minute, Rosa! Rosa, you quit? What do you mean? Rosa, Rosa, no vas, no vas! You don't understand English. I quit. Wait, no, Rosa, it was really acid. It was just water. I don't care, I quit. Wait, wait, wait you can't just walk out and, 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 and leave little Martin. <laughs> You sit on Martin del Diablo. I've got to reload. Okay, that'll take him five minutes. Let's make a break for it. Oh, Richard, we can't just walk out and leave a ten-year-old home alone. Why not? Rosa did it, and she does this for a living. Okay, fine. You go. I'm going to stay. Okay, see ya. No, no, no. I'm just being polite. We, you have to stay here until his parents get back. Hey, Pinhead! Martin? What makes you think his parents are actually coming back? Here's my Porsche. A little blue baby down there. Very nice. So, uh, what kind of car do you drive? A Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, but in Italy, that's a domestic car, right? It's like an American owning a Ford. <laughs> if that makes you feel better, sure. Hello? Del? Oh, hey, Blinky. Excuse me? Just go with it. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm stuck here at the Lepner's. Richard, oh. what are you doing? Nothing. Now, if I were a gas shut off, where would I be? <laughs> How you doing? Is Marco there yet? Oh, yeah, we're having a great time. He's just telling me all about his Ferrari. <laughs> Get home now. Well, I, I, I wish I could. Could you just keep him coming? No, he's a braggart, and I'm bored. Now, you said you'd try and make an effort. I really don't want to do this. Oh, wear that thing you like tonight. With, uh... Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Caroline's going to be a lot later than she thought. So listen, uh, you want to go get a beer or something? Uh, maybe I'll head back to the hotel. The three of us should get together later tonight. Huh? Uh, no, Caroline and I are busy tonight. We have to have fun now. Um, want to go down to the gym, shoot some hoops? Oh, that's a great idea. You know, I was offered a basketball scholarship to Georgetown. I meant pull, shoot some pull. <laughs> Play a little rotation, nine ball, one pocket. What, what about racquetball? Uh, racquetball's really not my game. <sighs> Me either. You know, I'll call my club reserve a court. <laughs> I can get us another hour if you want to try and even up the score. No, no. I cannot come back from losing six times in a row. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. A lot of guys crack under the pressure of racquetball. It's not like basketball where you have like four other guys helping you out. I feel much better, thank you. <laughs> hey, listen. We don't have to tell Caroline who won. Oh, Dad, it's okay. You won. Fair square, huh? You have a uh, bragging rights, huh? huh? Excuse me, I... I think I hate the shower. <laughs> What the hell was that? It's my fiance's ex-boyfriend. Hope you're a big spender. You're playing hide-and-seek? I'm not making an effort. I'm just playing hide. What can I find in the library? The Lepners have, like, shelves of books on child-rearing. Mm, apparently just for decoration. Richard, aren't you taking this a little too seriously? You're supposed to take the devil seriously. 
He's a bully, just like Kurt Gustinger was. Yeah, and you're not a little kid anymore. You're an adult. Look, maybe if some adult had showed Kurt Gustinger a little compassion, maybe he wouldn't have beat you up every day in the schoolyard. Where the hell did he get that? Page 46. <laughs> hey, Dinhead! <laughs> there, now it doesn't say that anymore. All right, go to the Uh oh. <laughs> together. Hey, hello. Oh, Mr. Lechner, hi. I'm Caroline Duffy. Looks like Daddy's home. Well, <laughs> Miss Duffy, I'm very pleased that you were able... What the hell happened here? Um... Okay, Martin. That tears it. The Citadel Academy. You just got your marching orders. But, Dad... Talk me no buts. Talking time's over. Military school will work for me. It'll work for you. But... Martin! Mr. Lepner, I did it. What? Richard. Yeah, I was, uh... I was admiring your art collection, and I accidentally bumped into this hopefully cheap imitation of a Ming Dynasty vase. I'm assuming you have insurance? With this kid around here, what do you think? <laughs> all right, Martin, I'm... sorry I accused you without all the information. I'm... I'm sure we'll discuss this more with Dr. Green in our next session. <laughs> well, come on, Martin. Let's go see what kind of cartoon $5,000 buys you. Oh. Richard, I, I, I can't believe you just did that. Well, let's just say I did it for all the easily bruisable nine-year-old Richard Korinskys out there. Richard, you never cease to amaze me. Oh, you're still here. Now, Martin, Richard did something very special for you. Don't you have something to say to him? Yeah. What a loser. You're as pathetic as a kid's eye beat up. Okay, that's it. You want to break the rules? No, 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 no. I want a piece of this kid. Do you think you are like, treating Richard like that? You're going to grow up to be a lonely fat man. You're never even going to have sex. Caroline, 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 who is the adult? You're right. You're right. Martin, Martin, put down that dart gun. Martin! Oh! Martin! Oh, hey, big guy. What the hell is that supposed to mean? From the Latin, it literally means, hey, big guy. Sorry, man. Look, um... You got a second? Yeah, I'm supposed to be back at the theater, but sure. Okay, look, you've been with a lot of men. Oh, man, is this another intervention? <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> look, Annie, um, a couple guys were hanging out in the locker room after the game, you know, um, just talking about tools and cars and... Tick-tock, Del. Okay. <laughs> you know the thing women are always saying, size doesn't matter? Well, <laughs> it's true, right? Del, give women some credit. Of course size doesn't matter. Unless you're having sex. <laughs> Caroline? Up here. Wow. You like it? Are you kidding me? I'm a red-blooded American male. Of course I like it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's go upstairs, honey. No. Let's just stay down here. There's no blinds. And that guy across the street with the binoculars? Yeah, no. Let's just stay down here and, and watch some TV. Del? That's fried green tomatoes. Oh, yeah. I love this movie. <laughs> that Mary Stewart, Jessica Louise Parker really cracks me up. Del, what's wrong? Every other time I've worn this, you've practically needed a lobster bib. <laughs> All right. To be honest, I've got a bit of a headache. What? Oh, you don't want to get married. That's what this is all about, isn't it? No. No, Caroline, I want to get married. Look, I just got to know. Do you feel like there's anything missing from the relationship? 
Well, sometimes I wish you'd call in the middle of the day just yeah, Okay, okay, I'll work on that. <laughs> now, what about the sex? Well, the sex is great. So you mean, like, better than with, say, uh, Marco? Marco? I, I never slept with Marco. What? Come on, you, you spent three weeks together in Italy. I mean, isn't that like a law? Well, arrest me. I was still hung up on you. <laughs> Hey, what do you know? My headache just went away. Mm, you know, you're kind of cute when you're jealous. <laughs> I am not jealous. <sighs> so you sure you never slept with him? Well, I I'm pretty sure I would have remembered that. Oh, yeah, you would have remembered. <laughs> Cupid comes a calling, quite literally, in rendezvous at five past one. After it's a wonderful life when you're married with children, next. <laughs>